हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल बाय वृशाली इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट एक्जैक्टली बड़ी सिस्टम इन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट ओएस प्लेलिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन प्रीवियसली वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट एंड पार्टीशनिंग टेक्निक्स विथ एग्जाम्पल देन फ्रैगमेंटेशन इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल फ्रैगमेंटेशन and also we have discuss about first fit best fit worst fit algorithm with solve examples i have attached link of all these videos in below description box please refer these videos that will be helpful for your end same exam purpose now in today's session we will discuss first what exactly body system solve examples of body system their application advantages and disadvantages At the end, we will discuss some important question bank. Let's see all these points one by one. Now, the first question is what exactly body system in operating system? So, as we discussed earlier, in operating system there are multiple process. Every process required the memory for execution purpose. So, body system is one of the memory management and allocation technique. It divide the large memory block. into the smaller equal parts as per the power of 2 what exactly it is see here suppose in operating system has one memory block that is 128 kb so body system means they divide this block into the two equal half part like 64 kb and 64 kb so this two equal parts are called as bodies or we can say friends So 64 KB again divided into the two equal parts like 32 KB, 32 KB as per the power of 2, right? Then 32 KB again divided into the equal parts 16 KB, 16 KB, right? In this way. So body system basically means they divide your complete memory into the two equal half parts, and this half part is called as bodies. When particular process is coming and process required the memory for execution purpose. so operating system allocates the fit size or smallest block for execution purpose they ensure that less memory wastage is there now let's understand this system with the solve examples let's understand the example of body system see here suppose the question is given a system with 128 kb memory space so this is the total memory space in particular operating system and particular process one is coming and they required 18 kb memory for execution so you can't executed process one directly in this 128 kb memory why because process one required only 18 kb memory so from 128 they are using only 18 kb so remaining 110 kb memory is left over or unutilized right so the solution on this there is a body system in operating system see how suppose this is your complete memory space 128 kb so body system divide this memory space into the two equal half parts as per the power of 2 that is 64 kb 64 kb again this 64 kb divided into the two equal half parts like 32 kb and 32 kb always division have started from left to right direction now check here suppose suppose you have divided again 32 kb into the two parts like 16 kb 16 kb so you can't execute 18 kb process there right which is not fitted properly so which partition is the best one here so you can execute means operating system can execute process 1 that is 18 kb in this particular partition which is the best fitted there because less memory wastage is there see from 32 kb they utilize only 18 kb memory so the remaining memory is 14 kb right and here remaining memory is 110 kb which is more than uh, as per to other algorithm right so this is called as body system they divide data into the two equal half parts find out the partition where your process one is fitted properly as per the less memory wastage so what are the applications of body system 
so buddy system generally used in memory management link graphics card right suppose in your laptop your game needed the 7 kb uh, for texture purpose so gpu allocates the block of 8 kb memory which is best fitted there again in cloud computing and virtual machine suppose your virtual machine asked for 1.7 gb ram so your system allocates the power of 2 like 2 gb block of memory for execution again in ssd controller like in your hard disks again in network packet buffers and memory allocations in embedded system like there are multiple sensors and resistors are there so they required just 1 kb 2 kb memory right so they allocate the memory in power of 2 like 2 kb 4 kb in this way so that's why buddy system used in operating system to reduce the wastage of memory now what are the advantages and disadvantages of this so one of the main advantage of buddy system is they efficiently use the memory because they splitting the block into the equal parts right they divide your memory into the 1 2 4 in this particular manner and again quick allocation and deallocation is there and less external fragmentation means less memory wastage is there your memory not that much scattered so these are the advantages of buddy system now what are the disadvantages disadvantages means the internal fragmentation is occurred there because from 32 kb process 1 utilize only 18 kb memory so remaining one is a leftover or wastage right so this is called as internal fragmentation again next disadvantages is limited flexibility because they divide the memory block only power of 2 right so less flexibility is there so these are the some advantages and disadvantages of buddy system now as per your previous year question paper they have asked this kind of question most frequently almost every paper you have seen this kind of question like explain buddy system with the help of diagram and example or with the help of neat diagram write a short note on buddy system so just prepare any one example like on previous slide right and prepare this theory accordingly so this is all about the buddy system thank you keep learning